we've got for you in the next 30 minutes. Curfew from tonight. Kids in Camden can be sent home if they're found wandering the streets after nine. Is it fair? Next tonight, it's our weekly look inside property. Moving to a new area can often be a worry. Earlier in this programme, we heard how anti-social behaviour can blight a particular street or estate. So, when you're buying somewhere new, how can you check out what the locality is really like? Well, believe it or not, you can now hire a detective agency to give you the real inside track. Marcus Powell has been to meet the property spies. <laughs> Coming soon to a neighbourhood near you, property spies are out and about. Finding the home you want's one thing, but how do you know what the neighbours are like? Do they have all night parties? A stereo that rocks your walls as well as theirs? Do they have a dog that just won't keep quiet? Like me. Come on. Will patriotic fervour spread to impromptu street parties? What's it like after pub closing time? And why did the local shopkeeper quit the area? Nosing around to ask the neighbours is a job for private eye. Mary Louise McIlvaina will spy in your new backyard for just £400 to find out what the neighbours really are up to. When I first moved here, that was like five years ago. Yeah. You had like a lot of like gangs and everything that used to hang around there. Really? What's but it like now? It's better now. It's better now, but it's still quite... Yeah. You wouldn't, what, you wouldn't walk through that estate by yourself at night, Yeah. but you'd quite happily walk along this road. Back at base, the Answers Investigation Service is working online, checking the crime rates and the standards of local schools. I think our clients can be quite pleased with what they see, and it um, probably lives up to their expectations. Um, yeah, things like comparative property pricing, and what probably the um, crime statistics that marry with their perceptions of the area. I mean, look at this particular area, comparing some um, fairly standard statistics, I mean, things like uh, vehicle theft is about half the national average. Um, burglary, again, probably about half the national average. So it's not, a, it's not a high crime area. It doesn't mean the crime doesn't exist because it's there in every area. Meanwhile, Maria Louise is busy checking out the local problem estate and is reassured to find that others are also keeping watch. Suburban Surrey may not exactly be a hotbed of vice and violence, but you never know. Not too bad, but playing drums at half past three in the morning. Is <laughs> yeah. Really? Have you spoken to the university? When you're paying a couple of hundred thousand pounds for a house, a few hundred checking out the area is money well spent. So we tend to go on a day like today when it's meant to be just a quiet afternoon and see what it's like generally. And then we also go at weekends on a Friday and Saturday night when the pubs are being kicked out and see what happens. Well, this particular area seems quite quiet. Everyone seems quite friendly. The, o the only fly in the ointment was this estate that's behind. But, you know, there's, no, there's not really any massive hidden dangers here. It's just a normal street. Providing answers can also involve plenty of undercover work, testing local off-licenses to see if they sell drinks or cigarettes to children. But this private eye is increasingly asked to be a property spy. Marcus Powell, London Tonight, Farnham. Fascinating. Absolutely intriguing. Well, our property expert, Kirsty Ulsop, is here. You always say location, 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 so I'm guessing you think that's probably quite a good idea. I think it's a very good idea. It's the kind of research that I do for my clients, and it's very important that everyone should do it. It's great if you've not got much time, that there's a service that exists that does it for you, but you can also do it for yourself. Those crime statistics are available to everybody, and just get your feet on the ground and, and do, do some walking around. 